I don't know how the person had this many shirts. Summer Tour 1995, look at that. I think we hit the jackpot. Ladies and gentlemen, living and dead, Grateful Dead pirate lovers of all time, we are about to show you what I call the most and biggest epic find of my entire career. I buy storage units, I found some great finds. We found safes full of cash, et cetera, et cetera, gold, silver, Phillips storage units, but never have I found such an amazing score for such a low price. We're about to get in, I'm gonna show you what we got. Before we continue the tale of what is in here and how we got all laid out, I wanna explain to you something. The universe always brings you everything you need right when you need it, and I bought this piece right here, limited edition. Grateful Dead piece of art. My friend was walking around and he's like, hey, I bought this piece, it's in my truck, and I don't wanna ship it. I see you selling stuff all the time, so I'll just uh, sell it to you, maybe I make a few bucks, you can have it. I go take a look, it's Grateful Dead. I liked it just because it was neat. But the moral of the story is I walk this back to my truck, Grateful Dead in my brain, you see the pretty colors, you're thinking the name. I go take a walk again, and out some two guys show up and they're throwing bags of clothes on the table, a lady ripped one open, and tie-dye pops out. Grateful Dead logo, I've been selling, the concert shirts on my YouTube channel lately, and immediately I was like, hey, um, are those concert shirts? Like, yeah, I got a bunch of them. I said, how much are they? He said, $5 a piece. I was like, cool. Uh, immediately I'm like, how much do you want for all? He says a dollar a piece. I would have probably paid him $5 a piece for them in all actuality, but he said $1 a piece if you buy them all. Boom, I'll take them all. There was 311 vintage Grateful Dead shirts. So he says, hey, I got some more. Lo and behold, next day I meet him, 854, we're sitting at 1162 vintage Grateful Dead concert shirts. My new friend here is looking at my shirts and look at how excited he is. His Bro. hands are shaking <laughs> because of how good this $311. It is absurd. 150, 75, 130, 71, 160. Where are you dreamt tonight? These are sold prices, guys. Wow. This is Matt Romero from YouTube and he's a, a shirt enthusiast. And he's bought in a lot of shirts on my YouTube auctions, on Pirate Auctions. He helps me out when I find some cool stuff. And I showed him his collection and he said he wanted to come check it out. So he knows a lot about shirts. So not just you know concert shirts, but sports shirts, comic shirts. What's hot right now is vintage shirts. Maybe he'll clue us in on a little bit of the vintage shirt market. I think that you did not score here at all, Mike. Have maybe thirty dollar values in all of these shirts, but I'll give you forty. I'll, I'll give you thirty-five. Look <laughs> at <laughs> these old liquid blue tags, insane, dude. Ninety-five. What's liquid blue? Stars. Liquid blue is a shirt manufacturer, and currently they still own the um, the licensing and the, and the print rights for all the new Grateful Dead. So you'll see Grateful Dead reprints at like Hot Topic or. Um, I think even like Mervins or whatever your local thing is, so they reprint them. And even those shirts now new are selling for $40, the reprints. And these are all 90s original OG shirts, dead stock. If we look up a shirt on eBay, just as an example, say we look that up and say it's maybe 300. Now, a lot of the comps we're looking at is going to be used. There's going to be a shirt that somebody's been wearing. Now, these... Very stained, possibly holes in them. These are all almost dead stocks. There's an American report. First thing, made in the USA. Beautiful. Second thing, single stitch. All over. Sleeves. Base. Insane. So what could that do to the value? Say they're getting 300 for a used one, what would a, a new old stock go for? A new old stock, easy. These shirts, you can't find a lot of them either. So there may be three in circulation. The collectors will have them, will hold them. People will offer them insane amounts just for one shirt because there's only two known that are floating around. So to have these, he's able to set the price. Here's an example. We just were just discussing this one. This one used is doing 179 right now and we literally have one two three four five and then you got some other cool fear and loathing that's just, here's a fearing let's show that fear and loathing Six, yeah that's one of my favorites right there seven and seven eight nine, all the band ten. members here on the cards there's the butt the this Volkswagen is a, bus uh, one Look Josh that. Kaplan 91 that one was fancy right there I think that's the only one I saw those but if we keep, there's just tons of fear and loathing and you just keep going through. Look at, there's another, we're at like 20 now, 20. That's a tight one, man. Tight, tight, 
tie dye. Oh man. And you keep a, coming down here. Look, right we're, there. We're, we're, we're already gonna have, we have probably 30 plus of those shirts, 95, almost upwards of 40 shirts that are 179 used on eBay. Look at these tags. Imprinted sportswear. Look at that, Mr. T's, Tallahassee, Florida. Not mm, new old stock, new dead stock. What is that? Is new yeah. dead stock, just hats. New dead stock is like a shirt that was printed a very long time ago, but was never worn. Just been sitting somewhere, and it's new, and it's dead. They're not making them. Anymore. <laughs> One, thing One thing I learned today from uh, Matt here is 1995 is actually does really well because it's the year that Jerry died and a, one of the last times he ever played. So 95 shirts are very hot. Mike has multiple Chicago tour shirts and that was Jerry's last tour he ever played at. This one. Shirts. Yeah, look, that's the one, that's one of them. So this might have been in the merch on his last run. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Everything you see in this one pile from here to here is all 1990s. Everything right here is 90s. They're, they're, I don't know what, like, here's an here's example. Here's one that says, Forever Grateful, right? You got the band in their younger years. You know, you got Denver, 1994, got a habit. It says Humboldt County. That one's pretty tight. And it's just, they're not just the same shirt. I just couldn't, I couldn't mix and match. Look, Happy Mary, uh, Jerry Christmas. We got Summer Tour. We got Dead in the Desert. We got Grateful Dead. I mean, it's, the, the variety is there. Summer Tour, 95. And it's weird because some of these shirts you'll see, like I look up one, here's another Toys R Us, and you'll see a, the white version selling for 40, but you won't even see the tie-dye version in existence. Like he was saying, people keep, look at that. Fishing with the Dead, Spring Tour 95. Back's got a cool graphic. It's just, it's insane. There's 1,162 of these shirts here, all 90s. Some of the, I set some, are these excited? Matthew also explained to me, sorry if I called you Matt, and I, Matthew didn't know you go by Matt, but he said the more complicated and overwhelming the graphic, it's fire, right? Yeah, they do. This right here, this is actually a really cool vintage liquid blue, which is the maker, 91. Another, another concert shirt, I set that aside because that has an extreme value. Believe it or not, this bad boy right here. Roomy tunes, toke up doc. Only one I found of these, and this one was real intriguing. Um, from what I learned from Matt as well, this is something that he believes somebody did in the audience or the, uh, the parking lot. Like the guy had a little stencil and stuff, and he just sitting there at his car, and he's tailgating, and he's making these. These are actually more rare, didn't you say? Yep. Absolutely. So believe it or not, this probably has more value because no one has this. Feel it. Like it even has like a weird feel to it. It's all it's like a spray paint yeah. tie dye. Like somebody was sitting down outside the concert or something making those shirts. So what's very important in shirts, obviously the newer is least value. So I called a lot of people, included Matt, and a lot of people gave me advice and I said first thing you should do is separate by decades. 2000 being the least valuable unless they're super rare. Like I said, this could only be white, but there's very limited tie-dye shirts. We have them all separated in the 2000 eras here so this is one shirt but see how it's got kind of two different colors this one is all one shirt here you know they're probably you think there's gonna be a lot of those but that's still probably a minimum 50 and upwards because remember these are new old stock this is not worn thrown in your closet sweated and etc etc no one's wore that this one there's probably 100 or so there but I see this shirt selling for 75 plus then you come in here we got these ones and they're different variances here you got the symbol on the back here you got the smaller version in the front. Here you got, you come down, you got the biggest version. So it just all depends on which one you want, but there's like 50 of those. And we come in here, look at this. Look at this quality tie-dye right here. Dead Summer Tour, 2004 piece. We got lots of these. I like this because who doesn't like Star Trek, right? I mean, wave your hand right now. At some point you like to watch Star Trek, enjoyed it. There's a, two different versions of these, the, the, the piece symbol there with the, Oh, look at the crowd. Wow. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a pilot. I'm a mechanic, not a doctor. Damn it, I don't know what I'm talking about. So these are all different versions of Roth berries, but that's quality piece right there. New old stock. Got another shirt, uh, several variances, coloration I should say, but same pattern. Got some like this. It's like a, the khaki version of the shirt we just looked at. 
We got this one right here. This is the tie-dye version of that shirt we were just talking about. And then there's a handful right here like this. There's I like the, I like cool. the vibrances on this one. So this is all pretty much 80s, and this the one thing that's nice is there was actually some stuff that wasn't Grateful Dead because all vintage concert shirts are great. Look at this. This is Jefferson Airplane. It's early 80s. You got a cool vintage tag. It says Grunt on the back. Uh, no, <laughs> that's pretty tight. And then this is actually a Grateful Dead 1986, but you see that's when they played together, right? Yeah, I know. I haven't done the figure out what this one is. I'm guessing a band maybe, or just a cool vintage tee, but it's that era, you know? First thing you always wanna look at your tags, of course, you know right there. These are things I'm learning. I'm learning with you all, so as I tell you, I, I just learned this like five minutes ago. This one here is 1983. It used to be mine, but it doesn't fit me anymore. I think I dried it too long. These Lieutenant Dangles are phenomenal. Tell me that is it like Jefferson Starship, original you got the tag this i believe is just a vintage shirt but probably still 50 to 70 bucks these are pretty tight we got like three or four of these, these are 87. 87 he's right 87 merchandising and it just keeps coming like another little sleeveless shirt you know what i mean where like this everything's all golden this is the money right here 1994. All over. This is probably a couple hundred dollars. But look, we've got all sorts of several versions. You look at the tag. Look at that. It's an old tag. We got a couple of these. 1988 New Year's. This is another sleeveless shirt. 1984 Summer Tour. These right here are glow in the dark. These are hot. The only thing is something like this, but there are ways you get this out. You can watch YouTube videos. They'll teach you how to make that look like new. New old stock, not used, not washed. It's, it's fresh. It's, this is like a time, this is like if you went into King Tut's tomb, but in the rock world, you know, the King Tut's tomb had all the trades are sitting for like 200 years. It's been unopened now all of a sudden. This is the same exact thing, but in the concert shirt world. This is, I, I'm trying to figure out words to put on something like this. Like all long sleeves, I put them together, various sizes. Los Angeles Sports Arena. Pretty much most of them are that. That's the only tie-dye long sleeve shirt I got. This shirt in particular right here. Matt, you want to tell me about this shirt? Perez, 85 date stamp right there. Insane. The colors of the roses are crazy, and if you show that back here too, look at that rose on the back. And you comped this at 400, 350? It was like three, yeah, three, high three. And that was used, or? That was used, and that was just one available. And this is basically a new old stock. We're getting some more trippy ones here. Only one I got like this. Very kind of unique and different, and it's the only one we got of that, so that to me makes it rare. This is the only shirt I got like this. Feel that, Justin. Oh, that's like those blankets. Yeah. You know, those blankets. Those are that's nice. probably a few hundred dollar shirt there. This is the only one I got like this. I put it aside just because even though it's 2004, it's the only one I got like that. So I'm figuring that one might be special. That almost looks like a homemade tee too. This is probably at least a hundred dollar shirt, but maybe up to two or three. I don't know. On a shed too? Brand new. On a shed. It's on a shed. See, I, I'm able to talk like I know what I'm talking about because Matt's here and I'm learning. 1984, wow. Look at this shirt right here. These, we're speculating, are gonna be very good ones. Can you read it? Hey Rock, watch me pull two dead, two dead tickets out of my hat. Oops, time to get a new hat. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, That's morbid. Look at that Gildan tag. The Gildan tag, made in USA. And there's three of these new old stock. These could be a few hundred. I, I don't think you'll find any of those. I've still yet to tell you what I actually paid for all this. These are pretty nice, only a few of these. Yeah, those are cool. Sadly, they got a little bit of scuffing or the soil marks. See the dancing bears, they each have different, you know, different dance moves on each shirt. So that's how you kind of know they're in the 
it. So they're unique from each other. They are. So that's how a lot of people will fake dead shirts and they'll, they'll have the bears just standing there. But when the bears are dancing, that's how you know they're legit. So as a bonus, I mean, I, I paid the same price per shirt. They were just in the bag. We got some other random ones, but they're doing really well. Someone told me recently that uh, these cigarette shirts are doing hop. We got a Marlboro. We got a Calvin and Hobbes, which I think is kind of like a, might be a concert one. I just don't know because it's something. World's best baseball team ever. Vintage. A shirt. That's going to be a few bucks right there. San Diego State University. You got this Camel Joe shirt. Look That's a that, good. Look at the pocket on that one on the sleeve. On this? Yep. I think on the other pocket. Oh, okay. What's yeah. that for? It holds the pad. Is that for your cigarettes? Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what do you think those shirts? Because you're the one who told me this. That's a hundred, hundred dollars shirt. Wow. Bob Welch, I think that's a band. We got Oceanside Inn, which I'm not sure what that is, but I, I feel like that's the inn on the side of Mill Valley where they possibly stayed at a lot. Wicked Bass, Ultrasound, Ultrasound. Wick, these could be dead? You're right, I just realized that, so now we have to definitely pull those aside. Well, I think The Dead did a couple Calvin and Hobbes releases, too. So what about this Summit one? Is that one of those two Summit Blazers? No, I mean, there's a chance this could be a member's shirt or a roadie's shirt. Someone that went on tour, this is, they had their shit in a suitcase, they threw this away, and the roadie bagged it up, and it ended up with your stuff. This could be a member's clothing, you never know. As a bonus, to this purchase, he's like, I got some stickers and some frisbees. So I came up on a whole, I can't, I don't know, there's probably at least 300 plus stickers, vintage, all Grateful Dead. A few of them are a little rapidly, then you get into mint. You got mint. This is all vintage, like I would say mid 80s, early 90s stickers. Those have some value. Those are probably worth, in, in all actuality, 10 bucks a piece. Look at this. We got Air Garcia. I think he's related to Air Jordan. Don't know. Jerry is a Jedi. See, he's also part of the Star Wars clan. That's just crazy. This is just like a bonus gift to me. Nine, these are probably 30, 40 bucks a piece. These hats, I got 18 of them. I'm looking at these being somewhere between 100 and 150 for these new dead stock hats. There's what's uh, 18 hats times 100 is $1,800. That already puts me in a profit if I just sold those in itself for 100. I'm speculating. I'm speculating this was a six figure pick. I bet you got your money in stickers. What everybody wants to know is, what'd you pay for all this? Well, that is a very important question. Before I even get to that, I want to say like, Matt, you buy stuff, right? You go shop stuff. Isn't the name of the, the name of the game to get a deal, right? And even if somebody asks 20, you will sometimes want to offer 15, whatever. That's just, that's something that's bred into people. To be a picker, to be a dicker. To yeah, it's a barter. Yeah, to make money. I, I have that gene. You have that gene. This was so easy, I didn't even have to bargain. The guy said he wanted five a shirt. I said, cool, how many you got? He's like, I got a bunch. How much for all of them? He said, I'll give them two people a dollar a piece. There was no questions asked. Dollar a piece. I bought 311 shirts for 311. And after I'm done, he said, hey, I got like a thousand more. A thousand more. I'm like, there's no way. So he calls me up the next day, comes over here, gives me 854 of them. Plus he had the stickers and frisbees. Like, I was like, how much for that stuff too? He's like, well, I don't know how to price stuff very well. So I just offer him a thousand. And um, it's a business move. Immediately, what blows my mind is right after I said a thousand dollars for him and I'm now sitting at $1,311, his response was, I believe you'll make a few dollars off them. I don't know their value. Just a little bit. You make I, a little bit of money. I'm blown away by that statement. I don't know what they're worth, but I'm sure you'll make something. It's a, it's insane too. Just just the fact of actually being out there and being at the market, you never know what you're gonna find. So it's all I always say like just get up and go. You know what I mean? What did I miss? Because you probably could have missed something like this. Doesn't this just reconfirm that anything is possible? Oh yeah, because there's a at that flea market. There's a. You have different levels of pickers and buyers at the flea market. I, that's the way I look at everything from mentality. There's a lot of guys who are in at 6 o'clock and they're gone by 7.15. They would never stay later. Oh, I got to get to garage sales. I'm not going to. I can't do that. If I go to the flea market, understand people are coming all the way up to 11 o'clock. So you got to stay for a few hours and keep making laps because you're going to get that next guy who rolls up, the next guy who rolls up. And that's what this was for me. I, I was on like lap number five, 11,000 steps into the morning. And boom, here comes this car. Unload a little freezer. And I'm just happened to be there, uh, right place at the right time. Multiple people told me that when I was at that market, oh, this place is picked over, this place is picked over. I walked around, I did my loops, I found 
old single stitch Harley 3D emblems, wrestling tees. So, so just go, get out there and go, and you may find this next score. It's kind of been overwhelming. It's because because here's the catch. When I bought these shirts yesterday and the day before, I was actually told that there is two shipping containers full somewhere that I might have a potential of buying on top of this amazing horde of concert shirts. And you guys tell me, how many shirts do you think you could fit in a shipping container? This, this may be a nibble to what's to come.